Hey folks, how's it going? I'm Josh. Today we're checking out Hell Reach Part 9, a Warhammer 40k story. Guys, please sing, leave your comments below. All my videos are based off your comments. Uh, this has been awesome so far. This one's 17 minutes long, which is great. This is in for a treat. So let's go ahead and jump into it, guys, and um, we'll talk about it at the end. This hive will not survive the first week. What is coming in system now far exceeds what has laid waste to the planet before. The other hives must be reinforced a thousand times over. Hades will burn. Tyro. Greasings. How may I be of service, Reclusiarch? We have defensive positions in the wastelands manned by the Steel Legion. Yes. Yes. I was informed today exactly what is stored in the underground hangar of the D-16 West Outpost, 98 kilometers to the northwest of the city. None of our briefings mentioned it was a sealed Mechanicus facility. Do you know your history, Adjutant Tyro? I have studied several of the decisive battles of the First War. Then you will know what Mechanicus weapon was designed and first deployed here. I don't think you can be right. Perhaps not, but I intend to learn the truth for myself. One of our gunships will carry a small group to D-16 West in one hour. But it's sealed. It will not be sealed for long. It's Mechanicus territory. I do not care. If I am right in my suspicions, there is a weapon there. I want that weapon, Syria Tyro. And I will have it. You can't leave the city before dawn. The enemy, the enemy will not break the city walls in the first day. And Bayard, Emperor's champion of the Hell's Reach Crusade, will command the Templars in my absence. I can't allow you to do this. It will enrage the Mechanicus. I am not asking for your permission, Adjutant. I am asking if you wish to come with us. Does anyone ever laugh at your jokes? 
Humans sometimes do. My princess. Hello, Valium. My princess, the adepts of the soul are reporting discontent within Storm Herald's heart. We are getting anomalous readings of ill temper from the reactor core. We are angry, Matarati. We yearn to bring the thunder down upon our foes. That is understandable, my princeps. You are operating at peak capacity. You are sanguine. I am querying if I am at risk of being consumed by Stormhold's heart. Maintenance adept, attend to the princeps vocalizer unit. I trust you, my princeps. Forgive me for troubling you. There is no. Your concern touches me, Valium. We will see battle soon, Valium. Ronaldus has promised it to us. We are all ready, my princeps. Uh, Andre? What is it now, eh? I'm busy, okay? Is that a gunship? What are you talking about, eh? That. This is Damasca at Boundary 3. Contact, contact, contact. Imperial gunship inbound. That is the Black Templars, yes? They are from Hell's Reach. I know this. I, I listen to my briefings. I do not sleep like you. This can't be good. I do not agree, you know. This is a Statis business. It will be good. Good for us, bad for the enemy. What? It will be good. You see, eh? I'm always right. Should we, uh, salute? Is that what you're supposed to do? I don't know. Just stand at attention. Captain, I'm Adjutant Quintus Tyro, seconded to Hive Hell's Reach from the Lord General's command staff. With me are Reclusiarch Grimaldus and Master of the Forge Jurisian of the Black Templars chapter. Greetings. We have come to enter the installation. Forgive me. Is this a joke? Far from it. There is no power here. They left this place entirely devoid of energy. No. There is power. The installation sleeps but does not lie dead. It is locked in hibernation. Power still beats through its veins. The resonance is low, the pulse is slow. I hear it nevertheless. Can you open these doors? Can you get us down into the complex? It will necessitate a great deal of rerouting power from auxiliary sources, and those will be difficult to reach from a remote connection point here. A parasitic feed is required. Jerusalem. Answer the question. Forgive me, Reclusia. Yes, I will need one hour. Digging for secrets in the sand, yes? Well, that is not going to make the Mechanicus smile, I think.
This is a magnetic field stabilizer housing. What does it do? It houses the stabilizers for a magnetic field generator. <laughs> That's right. This is it. It is so beautiful. It is magnificent. This would survive orbital bombardment. It is void shielded, armored like no bunker I have ever seen, and sealed with... with a billion or more individual codes. Can you do it? I have never witnessed anything so complex and incredible. It would be like mapping every particle within a star. Can you do it? Yes, Kruziak. But it will take between nine and eleven days. Damn. I don't believe it. It can't be here. It is. This is where the Mechanicus hid the Ordinatus Armageddon after the First War. This is the tomb of Oberon. Reclusiak. Grimaldus, speak. The old man's predictions were correct, as you suspected. The enemy is annihilating Hades Hive from orbit. It is crudely done. Standard bombardment with mass drivers to hurl asteroids at a defenseless city. A dark day's work, brother. Will you return soon? We are on our way back now. Yarrick was right. Hades is burning. Brace yourself, brothers!
Dude, I can't believe that was freaking 17 minutes already. Let's do some more. <laughs> oh my goodness so this is man this is so good um this didn't even feel like 17 minutes was going on and i know of course a big chunk of this was um just like most of us just traveling and finding a destination and um you know actually working on getting inside the destination then the bomb hit but still just man so fantastic man it's just just so good. I don't know how many times I could say that this is just so good. I'm enjoying this so freaking much, man. Um, I'm very like I didn't get as many. I didn't get like goosebumps in this one like I did in the other one. Um, only thing they sent like was looking at that that what do you call it, that mushroom cloud. Like Jesus Christ, man. Um, when they threw like the meteor into the thing, I know they said like a a, a big enough impact is like a nuclear bomb. When uh, if um like you know if it does strike. Been on the size of it, but man, I'm loving it so much, man. And I don't want to say the person's uh, the name because I know they probably don't want me saying anything, but I do appreciate the person who sent me the link, their Google Drive link with um 40k content on it, uh, audiobooks and all that jazz. I really appreciate that. It's super awesome of you. Um, of course, I already purchased some books, and um, I got a few more that I'm gonna purchase as well. Um, but yeah, man, thank you so much for sending that Google Drive link. That was super awesome of you. I really appreciate that. So, always look, because there's, there's, I'm, this might sound crazy, but if I really dig a book, sometimes I'll buy like the audio version. So when I'm like driving to work and stuff, and then I'll t pick up where I left off reading um, when I get home, um, just so I can like, you know, because you only get so many windows to sit there and like, you know, read a book especially when you have a busy schedule. So it's cool to be able to listen to it on the way to work and stuff. And, and then coming home and like ripping and kind of going back and forth with that. I do that sometimes. So I really appreciate the audio books. It's really awesome of you. All right, guys, that is all for this one, man. I really appreciate um, you guys recommending this stuff. This has been a great ride. I look forward to the next clip to see what happen, happens next. And that is it, guys. Hopefully you guys are happy, safe, and healthy. And I'll see you in the next one. Later.